All right, I'm going to show you two kind of funny but also sad clips as well of Joe Biden making some really just bizarre and weird statements that have zero logic or sense uh, or any assortment of sense behind them. Okay, and this ties into the fact of his developing dementia because it's very obvious because I've known person people in my family and, and known people personally who have had dementia and Alzheimer's and they're displaying they've displayed the exact same stuff Biden is displaying and has been displaying for over two years now. But let me just read something real quick on this um this article of MayoClinic.org uh, talks about the, the dementia symptoms and it lists the cognitive gog, lists the cognitive symptoms of dementia. And here's what they are. So they have memory loss, which is usually, which is usually noticed by somebody else, by the way. Uh, difficulty communicating or finding words. Difficulty with visual uh, and spatial abilities, such as getting lost while driving. That actually happened to one of my family members. Uh, he got lost in, in a blizzard, actually, uh, because he followed somebody who he thought was, I guess, somebody he knew or whatever, but got confused. Uh, difficulty reasoning or problem solving. Difficulty handling complex tasks. Difficulty of planning and organizing. Difficulty with coordination and motor functions. Hmm, kind of like him falling off his bike or falling, uh, tripping and falling while walking up the stairs of his jet. And confusion and disorientation. Those are some of the things that you'll see with these two clips right here. The confusion, disorientation, the just the the cognitive, just the ability, the inability to make logical sense. This will be the uh, what is it? I mentioned with the difficulty with reasoning or communicating, all that stuff. So let's watch these two clips and just show him displaying a couple of these symptoms listed on this website. So let's play the first clip where he actually talks about uh, we're gonna work towards economic injustice. Watch this. Together we can work toward racial justice, economic injustice, economic injustice, economic injustice, economic injustice, climate change. What? What do you mean economic injustice? See, we see the just the cognitive decline there, the decline and inability to formulate logical sentences. So, that and if you thought that was bad, get a load of this. So here in this other uh, video, Biden is literally saying the act of protesting should never be overshadowed by the reason of the protest. What is that? What is that even supposed to mean? Let's watch the clip. I think we all agree that the act of, of protesting should never be overshadowed by the reason we're protesting. I think we all agree that the act of, of protesting should never be overshadowed by the reason we're protesting. What? What's he talking about? We're, the the protest should not be overshadowed by the, or the acts in the protest should not be overshadowed by the reason we're protesting. Then why are you protesting? Just for the sake of doing it? Just for the sake of going outside and you know causing a ruckus? Makes zero sense at all. But again, what do we see there? Well, we see again these symptoms of the uh, cognitive changes in dementia, the difficulty communicating and finding words, you know, the inability with uh, basic problem solving and all that other stuff. And usually they have the memory loss too, which is noticed by somebody else. And Biden is forgetting stuff all the time, stuff that normally should he should be remembering. So, and like I said, I had personal experience knowing people in my, in my own family, several people actually, at least two of them I knew personally, who had dementia and they had all the same stuff Biden's showing right now. So. You know the guy ought to get a dementia diagnosis, but the problem is, is that if he were to get diagnosed, well, he would have the set, he would have the step down from office because he would no longer be mentally fit and cognitively uh, able to be uh, president. So he'd be forced to resign, and of course they can't have that because they lose all their political power and lose all their connections. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.